Now then YouTube, I am the Toff Man, and welcome to a very special video today where I'm joined by none other than the creator of Thorncraft himself, Azanar. How are you, Azanar? Hi, no, I'm fine. Oh, wonderful. I'm speaking to, you know, the legend that's given me <laughs> hours of fun with Minecraft mods. And I have to say that I've been playing Thorncraft a long time. I've never played Thorncraft 1, but uh, so for those watching, uh, I'm going to be asking Azanar, trying to pry out some secrets about Thorncraft 3.1. But for the benefit of those new to Thorncraft, I suppose the best place to start would be the origins of Thorncraft itself. It's been around for a number of years now, and some new to the mod may not be aware of how the mod first came about. Where did you get the idea for Thorncraft from? Well, originally, when I first started um, playing with mods in Minecraft, um, I absolutely loved um, Equivalent Exchange. Yeah. But um, one little thing bothered me about it, and it was the fact the whole equivalent part of it was... It made sense that you can exchange iron for diamonds, but yeah. I felt that basically the idea that... Um, now, the, the effort involved in getting the diamonds is much more in, than getting the equivalent amount of iron. So, yeah. basically, I played around and I thought, oh, maybe I should just make my own mod for my own use that did something similar, but, you know, worked in a different way and was a bit more expensive. So, and that basically led to Thorncraft 1, and then in the end, I had so much fun with it, I just thought, oh, well, might as well release it, maybe some other people would like it as well. Yeah. But obviously it evolved, it wasn't, uh, the idea originally was just another version of EE, but I mean, in the, when I released Thorncraft 1, it was not even close to that. <laughs> so with with Thorncraft 1 itself, I, I, you know, I never played Thorncraft 1, I can't really say, but in Thorncraft 2, the, the research uh, started coming into it, and, uh, you know, researching particular mm. items itself. How, where did this, uh, did the research, where did you decide to implement research into Thorncraft? Well, a lot of mods, uh, they, I mean, you can fairly easily get right to the in-game, basically, the in-game type items. Uh, some have a bit of a, there is some effort involved in getting to them in some mods, yeah. but most of the time, if you have the resources, then it's just a matter of sitting at a crafting table for like a half an hour and you can get whatever you want. Um, I I like the idea that you have to get work a bit. Even if you have all the resources, there must be some kind of effort involved in getting to yeah. you know, the good stuff. Yeah. So so that's why I uh, thought best way and it I mean it fits with the whole idea of a magical mod so I thought well maybe just add some kind of research to it. Well I've got to say that I absolutely love the uh, the research part of it, it's one of my favourite parts of uh, Thorncraft itself. So in version 3.1 um, I've seen on the forum thread there's apparently going to be a lot of tweaks and a lot of changes coming and I suppose the best place to start would be the aspect system. Um, with the aspects you said you was going to change it so how is it going to change in 3.1? Um, originally when I started thinking of, uh, the whole idea behind 3.1 was actually to change the way the aura nodes worked, but out of that came the realization that the, the aspect system as it is in Thorncraft 3 is a bit, it's a bit, there's too many of them, Yeah. and there, there's quite a few plug-in mods, and I got several requests for new types of aspects and things like that and after a while I realized the system as it is really just won't work. Yeah. So I originally just thought of reducing the number of aspects to 16 to, to make it a lot more coarser. So there's just basically the four elemental aspects and then a couple of others. Okay. Um, however, actually someone on the that same forum post you mentioned he pointed me towards a game, well, there's, there's a several games that work like it, but it's, I think it's called Doodle God. Okay. Basically, the idea is you have five elements that you start with, and then you get all the other elements by combining them in pairs. Uh -huh. So, fire and water will, for instance, create steam. Yeah, and yeah. Things like that. So, using that idea is, that's basically how the aspects is going to work in 3.1. You have 
the four elemental aspects and then um, I'm still tweaking exactly but I think there's going to be also a posi basically a positive and a negative aspect so your basic aspects are only six okay all the other aspects in the game is just combinations of those six and the good thing about that is m it's quite easy for modders just to plug in their own aspects okay um, and also for me I mean I, without having to change anything major I can just say okay for this version I needed a new aspect so I just added it in yeah however everything else in the game the essentia currently is almost like a resource and there is the 50 odd different kinds of essentia yeah. but that's going to be cut down to the six I call them primal aspects you know the elemental ones and the other two so that makes it a lot simpler you don't have to manage 52 different resources yeah. you only have to manage the six yeah. however you still need all the other finer aspects for certain things and for research primarily Okay. But you get those quite easily by just combining them. But it's also almost like a little bit of a mini game. You, and if you need the Alianus aspect, so like it exists now, you can't just burn ender pills to get it. You have yeah. to figure out uh, the recipe for it, basically, the mm -hmm. steps you need to take to get to it. So that way, research actually gets split up into several bits now. There's the normal research, though it will work slightly differently, but where you stand in front of a GUI and you add the aspects to get the research. So that'll be a very small part of it now and it will be a lot quicker. You know, most of your time is going to be spent almost figuring out the recipes for the different aspects, but I mean, once you've done it, it's done. You don't have to figure it out again. Right. And you also have to, in world, gather, I mean, you Knowing how to create Elianus isn't good enough. You need to gather the component bits. Yeah. And so that's almost like the first half of research will be you going around and examining basically objects and creatures and whatever in the world mm -hmm. and trying to build up a pool of knowledge that you can use to do your research with. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, I'm still knocking out the kinks. Yeah, that's that's the idea I have, and it's so far it's going well, and I'm, looks like it might work. But as I said, yeah, I've it's not the first time I've made a new system and realized right at the end it's not going to work. <laughs> Basically, I had to redo things from scratch. But so far it's going good. Nice, nice. Well, you've practically answered one of my next questions, which is about uh, the aspects based research and being buried in a in a GUI and uh, you know what ex what changes you expect for 3.1 for that one um, so thank you very much for that but uh, on to the uh, on to the next point that I would like to get to is um, the th there's been talk on the forum page about you adding ways of storing Essentia on your person to use that power for your things M maybe adding RPG element is that something e that was some of my original plans that I kicked around, but um, in the end, I sort of decided against it. There will be RPG elements in a way that there will be certain research that you unlock that don't actually give you a recipe for an item or anything. It just improves something, uh, like a, say you get a flat 10% discount on um, V costs or something like that. So. But, I mean, you won't level up or anything like that. But via research, you might un unlock just, like, flat bonuses and stuff. Oh, so um, you, get, you get rewarded for your, your efforts. Yeah. Um, also, as for storing Essentia, I'm actually still debating exactly how I want to do that. If I want to store it on your person or if Essentia will be stored in the wand... Um, the casting one, because V will technically be going away. <laughs> it's um, everything will be uh, where you currently have to make an item that say costs 200 V and five ignum and ten this and so. Okay. Yeah. The V costs will go away. Everything will be just have essential costs. Hmm. So um, was that? Uh, I'm not not sure if you um, saw it in the forum post, but because 
the aura system as it is currently will also be completely going away. Yeah, yeah. So they, that. yeah, so they won't really be V that you can gather. Okay. The word might still be around, but it might refer to something different now. Um, I see. I, I remember in Thorncraft two, V used to be a liquid, <laughs> and um, it's you know just going through the pipes and and the tanks and it was. It was yeah. absolutely, it was wonderful. I mean, I loved the uh, the, the the pipes and the tanks and and pumping these around I'm, the place. I think it was, I think it was absolutely brilliant. That's my favourite bit. I'm ac I'm actually regretting getting rid of a liquid V and the piping systems and stuff like that. Um, I, I did it for a good reason, but I'm missing it now. <laughs> and I've <laughs> thought of several ways that I'm you know, trying to work it back into the system, but with the way Thorncraft Three is, it's Hard. <laughs> was it... Yeah, I mean the the thing is, it doesn't really fit in with Thorncraft Three anymore. The, the the you know pumping V around. Yeah, um, I mean you can you you could pump the essential around, but it will be a nightmare to pipe the the well in the previous in version three. I mean it'll be fifty six different kinds of liquids that could potentially be pumped. <laughs> 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 it might be a lot less now, but still, I mean, uh, technically you can still store the the combined aspects, you know, like the, they can also be stored as a censure. So, I mean, yeah. there's technically infinite amount of liquids <laughs> that you could pump around. So, Well, I've been watching uh, some of Odadex's things and uh, he's got this big massive uh, liquids room and I'm sure if he had another 56 different aspects to stick in that liquids room <laughs> that uh, yeah, he'd have his work cut out for him. But uh, on to the yep. next part, which is um, about uh, the the suggestions on your Thorncraft 3 uh, forum page. Now, there's there's been you know a huge amount of suggestions, and there's something like you know, 56 pages when I last looked, and uh, I haven't got a, enough time to read them all, but has any caught your eye that, uh, that you've implemented well, at all? Well, as I mentioned, the whole idea how the aspect system now works, that, that came directly from uh, one of the guys on the forum, his post, yeah. um, the Doodle God idea, and oh, then yeah. the... Yeah. Um, oh, well, there's so many suggestions, it's hard to keep track myself, and then I might have implemented stuff, I mean, it's a little, I'm feeling a bit ashamed to say it, but I mean, I, I might have used some ideas and can't really remember that it <laughs> was posted, but um, yeah, because there's lots of people with very good ideas on the on the forum, yeah. so I'm um, trying to think of something specific now, but yeah, beyond that aspect system, nothing really jumps out. <laughs> Well, uh, on to the next thing that I would like to cover. Something that's on your forum page that uh, that you were looking into for 3.1 is the subject of, of spellcasting. Uh. Now, I know that this was said on the forum page, but is that something that you're still looking into or, or what? That w that's a very controversial issue that some people are very against it and some people are for it. Um, Personally, I've decided against it. Um, oh, okay. It's not really what Thorncraft is about. However, I am adding a system involving the ones. Uh, in effect, they won't be the individual ones anymore. There won't be a wand of fire or a wand of lightning, etc. Um, okay. You just have your casting wand. All right. Yeah. And then you can do the various effects through that. Um, yeah. I don't want to go into details, but. Oh. Kind of resembles a casting system, but but it's not really. It's it's more the idea of your um, Thorncraft is about you being a magical artificer. You, you yeah. create magical items. Yeah. So I'm trying to stick to that. Um, and a spell casting system, though it's a magical mod, it doesn't really fit in with the idea of Thorncraft. I, I leave that to like Ars Magica and mods like that. They do yeah. it way better anyway than I would. <laughs> <laughs> well, something that's always really got me with uh, with Thorncraft is uh, the the race of the Eldritch. You know, are they are they a race of people from the from the old times? You know, what 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 type of people are uh, they? You know, nobody knows much about the uh, the Eldritch. I I actually do not want to say anything about them, and not Aww. because I don't know anything <laughs> about them. I think if the, the more mysterious they are left, the more interesting it is because I've seen people speculate on them and yeah. the race that 
with way better ideas than I have about them. So I actually prefer to keep it as mysterious and vague as possible and let people make up their own mind what it's all about. Yeah. But yeah, they will definitely be coming back. That was one of the they've always been supposed to be in Thorncroft three. Yeah. Um, I've just my the last six months of my life has been very busy. I haven't had time for anything. It's still busy, but I've actually been able to start modding again. Yeah. So well, do, um, with uh, with Thorncraft three and the uh, the Eldritch, you, you know, you, there is some hint of them still being there with uh, with the different aspects that's involved with the yeah. with, with that's involved with the Eldritch. You know, the Alienis and and uh, the mm. the Malum and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's something I've always been interested in, is the, the Eldritch people. But uh, moving on to the next point, which yeah. is about Thorncraft add-ons. There's been uh, a couple of Thorncraft add-ons that, that have come out. And there's one particular one in the in that that's my favourite, mm -hmm. called Thormic Tinkerer by Vasky. Yeah. And um, that one in particular, um, have you ever looked at it and thought, oh, I wish I'd have thought of uh, doing something like that. There's a couple. I absolutely love the, um, I can't remember the name now, now, but the item, you put an item in it and it can left or right click on a oh, block yeah. in front of it. Yeah. I think it's the... Um, I, know, I know which one you're on about, but I can't, yeah, the, I can't picture the name at the moment. Yeah, it's a, the item like hovers in the air and it like, looks like you're hit or whatever with it. Now that's, that's a very nice item. Um, he also uh, he has versions of my old uh, Thorncroft 2 items, one or two of them in there as well, which I like. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's, I, there's some great stuff in that mod, like yeah. the, uh, that glowstone gas almost and things oh, like yeah. that. I like that. Yeah, the gaseous glowstone. It's, yeah. uh, it is very nice. It's very useful. Um, so on to the final part, which is a word on everybody's lips. Uh, you know, I'm not going to come out and uh, and ask for an ETA, you know, because you know modders just don't like people asking for ETAs. Um, <laughs> but will it see 1.5.2 or 1.6? I have no idea, though I think it'll probably only be out for 1.6. I still yeah. have quite a bit of work to do. Yeah. Um, well, I mean... As I said, I can't really, I don't know ETA myself. Um, I'm finally getting to work hard on the mod again, so I mean, it might come out sooner even than I expect, but uh, yeah, I, I'd suggest people not be too impatient. It might be a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, perfection does take time. <laughs> But uh, that pretty much wraps up everything that I've got down uh, for my for my questions today. I've got to say that it's been an absolute pleasure to speak with uh, with with you, Azanar, about uh, the future of of Thorncraft and Thorncraft 3.1, which will be coming out in the future. Uh, so thank you very much for for coming along. Yeah, my pleasure. It really has been an absolute pleasure. So thank you very much, Azanar, and cool. uh, I will see you later. Okay, bye.